You would not believe the brutal truth that the Senegalese president Ousmane Sonko has just uttered to the former Gambian president Yahya Jama. If all African presidents could be like Ousmane Sonko and adopt his direct brutal truthfulness, Africa would not be in the position it is in today, in the realm of global politics. But what did the Senegalese governing father say to the Gambian national pariah that is exciting to hear? It is something shocking that will occupy the head and mind of Yahya Jama for decades to come, something he will never forget in a hurry. Let's take a deep dive into this conversation between Sonko and Yahya Jama together. Make sure you stay till the end to discover three simple lessons we have learned from it. Reports coming from Sonko's circle had claimed, regarding a moment they heard the Senegalese president having a brutal and honest conversation with an individual over the phone. This person was someone known to the Senegalese politician, where he was heard giving him his candid and overall picture of the lives of some people. The majority of his surroundings didn't know whom he was talking to until they heard him say what the Gambians are going through is as a result of you, and that is the reason why you can't go back to your birth country. This was how they came to realize that he was talking to the former Gambian president Yahya Jama. While African Pacific can't independently verify this claim, however, the message and teachings behind it are simply amazing for one to learn from, especially if you are in a governing position in Africa. Let's quickly dive into who these two individuals are, Sonko and Yahya Jama, before heading to what was heard from Usman Sonko discussing with Yahya Jama. Usman Sonko, the founder and political father of the Pastif Political Party of Senegal, is a young vibrant pan-Africanist who seeks the complete economic independence of the Senegalese people. However, Sonko's rise in Senegalese politics has been marked by increasing tensions with the former ruling government led by Macky Saal. As the leader of the Pastef party, Sonko has faced numerous legal battles, which some claim are politically motivated to prevent him from running in the 2024 presidential election. His party was dissolved in July 2023, which led to widespread protests and unrest across Senegal. Despite these internal struggles, Sonko's position has made him a prominent figure in the West African political landscape, drawing attention from leaders and political analysts across the region. His political party, known to be PASTEF, has now become the ruling government of Senegal after a remarkable victory in the Senegalese presidential elections some months ago. Yahya Jame, on the other hand, led the Gambia with an iron fist from 1994 until his exile in 2017. His regime has been accused of serious human rights abuses including torture and killings of political opponents. After losing power, Jama fled to Equatorial Guinea where he remains in exile. During Jama's rule Gambia's relationship with neighboring Senegal was often strained, but no recorded direct conflict due to both countries adopting the same way of life since its Senegambian era. Jama's departure has allowed Gambia to focus on transitional justice efforts which wasn't a success, while Senegal continued to grapple with its own political unrest centered around bad leadership challenges. But what did Sonko say to Yahya Jame? Ousmane Sonko was heard saying, You as a president, you swore that you will protect the people and respect the rule of law in the country. This was what you said to the people during your swearing-in ceremony. Someone who took this oath with the Quran in his hands at least you need to fear Allah. It is only an African president who sacrifices his own people, killing them and taking their properties. He further said to him that if he had spent a year, a month, a week or even a day in office, he would still stay and leave in Senegal after leaving office because he is confident that besides the money the country would pay him, if he doesn't give that to the Senegalese people, he will not take or steal anything from them. So, no one will come after him, prosecuting him for stealing the nation's money. Sonko said, I am confident of that. Sonko went on by further stating to Yahya Jame, why is it that African heads of state are unable to stay and live in their own countries after leaving office? Why is this? Which Western president do you see buying a property in Africa to come and settle in Africa after leaving office? Or do you see the Arabian presidents coming to Africa to buy a property to settle after leaving office? That doesn't happen, Sonko said. This is the system that needs to be eradicated from Africa, and it is this system you are a part of. After leaving office, I, Sonko, will never buy a property elsewhere to settle. I will remain and settle here in Senegal. Even here in Senegal, the only president who tried was Abdouli Wada. All those presidents that came after him did nothing except for colossal mismanagement, 
theft of public funds, corruption, and ultimately destroying the Senegalese economy. Sanko went on further by stating that the amount of suffering the Gambians are going through today is because of you, Yaya Jameh. That's the reason why you can't come back to the Gambia after leaving office and living in exile for many years now. You can't come back to your birth country. If you are a president, it doesn't mean you own everything. If I should take a flight to whichever country of my choice, if I want, I will come back to Senegal and spend the night there because there is nothing that would warrant me or prevent me from coming back to Senegal at any time I choose, Sonko said. If you and other African presidents put this at the back of their minds during your time in office and know that no presidency will last except for that of Allah, you will not be in the mess you are in today. This is the sole reason a president should rule with utmost honesty, truthfulness, and the fear of Allah. If you do this, there is nothing you would be worried about that will prevent you from returning home. Even if your successor decides to dig into your past, you will not be worried because he will not find anything against you other than seeing how you put your own wealth into the affairs of the country during your time in office. It's not like I am talking to you alone, but I am talking to all African presidents, even the ones that were here in Senegal before me. If I should sit down and take a look into the amount of damage Macky Sall has done to Senegal, the only thing that comes out of me is purely tears, and he equally can't afford to come back home forever. He won't dare. The discussion went on further with Sonko telling Yaya Jame that despite all the properties he has in the country and outside the country, he can only sleep in one house. Despite all the numerous cars he has, he can only get into just one vehicle, and he can only sit on just one seat. Despite his greatness, he can only sit on one chair, and the car won't get full. This was what he failed to realize during his reign. This was some of the conversation Sonko had with Yaya Jame. This is a humble request to please support our work by liking this video and subscribing to the African Pacific YouTube channel, where we look at the happenings of the motherland that are often ignored by mainstream media. Please show your support by liking and subscribing. Thank you so much. Now let's look at three lessons we have learned from the conversation between Sonko and Yaya Jama. The first lesson we have learned from Sonko and Yaya's conversation is that everything will come to an end. As an individual, you might be living under this false pretense that the life you are living will last forever in whatever activity you indulge yourself in. As you may recall the said Yaya Jame was the very person who stated that he would rule the Gambia for a billion years. Out of the billion years he anticipated, he only managed to get to just 22 years of reign over the Gambian people before relinquishing power to Adama Barrow. So clearly, nothing lasts forever as things come and go, and only Allah remains. The second lesson is for you to know that you will be held accountable for everything you do. Whatever thing you are doing, know that you will be held accountable here on earth and on the day of judgment. The sole reason Yaya Jame is reluctant to come back to the Gambia is that he knows fully well that he will be held accountable. Just like the members of the regime who are going through various forms of trials in the Western world, as we have seen in the case of Osman Sonko, Usman Sonko, Gambia's former interior minister under President Yahya Jama, held a prominent role in the repressive regime that ruled Gambia from 1994 to 2017. Sonko's trial in Switzerland, which concluded in early 2024, marks a significant moment for justice related to Jame's rule. Swiss prosecutors argued that Sonko not only failed to prevent but also participated in the violent suppression of opposition figures. Usman Sonko was sentenced to 20 years in prison for his role in these atrocities by Yaya Jama. If he was given 20 years in jail, only God knows how many years imprisonment Yaya Jama himself would face. The third lesson we have learned is that you can't be greater than the people who put you in power. As the saying goes, you are nothing without the people. Yaya Jama was put into that presidency by the people so he can't be bigger than the people who gave him the opportunity in the first place. For example, if someone has done you a favor, can you be bigger than that person? The answer is no. If you should feel bigger than any other person, it should definitely not be the one that favored you in the first place. This is a polite reminder to please like this video and subscribe to the African Pacific YouTube channel. Please show your support by liking and subscribing. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. These are the three lessons we can learn from Sonko and Yaya Jama's conversation. Please let us know if you have learned any other lesson in the comment section below. In conclusion, this is a tremendous lesson for everyone, and more so for Adama Barrow, who has taken the footsteps of former President Yaya Jama. 
Do you see Adama Barrow living in the Gambia after leaving office? Comment down below. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.